I thought racism was behind us, but evidently it's not. You was a coward. You went in there and shot these innocent people for nothing that you didn't even know. Family members of victims reacting to the racially motivated mass shooting in Jacksonville Saturday that took the lives of three black people. Angela Michelle Carr, 52 years old. Anolt Joseph, or AJ uh, Laguerre Jr., 19 years old. And Gerald Deshaun Gallion, 29 years old. Sunday, authorities revealed new details about the events leading up to the shooting. Investigators say before the gunman opened fire at a Dollar General store, he showed up in the parking lot of a historically black university nearby and was turned away by security for refusing to identify himself. So our campus security uh, officer uh, did confront the, the, the perpetrator um, and the perpetrator immediately got in his vehicle and started to, to drive away. Minutes later, the gunman arrived at the Dollar General. Deputies released this edited surveillance video showing the shooter opening fire on the first victim in her car in the parking lot. The edited clip then shows the gunman entering the store where he shot the second and third victims. Shortly after, investigators say the gunman texted his dad. The suspect texts his father and says, use a screwdriver to get into my room. The father enters the room and finds a last will and testament of the suspect along with a suicide note on his laptop. 11 minutes after the shooting started, officers entered the store and heard a gunshot, presumably when the gunman shot and killed himself, according to deputies. Investigators are now combing through his writings. The manifesto is, is, a, is quite frankly, uh, the diary of a madman. He was just completely irrational, um, but with his irrational, with his irrational thoughts, he knew what he was doing. Authorities say the shooter, who lived with his parents in Orange Park, had no criminal arrest history. He legally purchased and owned the two guns used in the mass shooting. The Justice Department is now taking part in the investigation, calling it a hate crime and an act of racially motivated violent extremism. Father, today we pray for healing, healing for the families, healing for generational curses. Sunday, friends, family, and community members gathered at a vigil for the victims. We just thought it'd be appropriate to bring AJ a little, little something. Gerald was a fun, loving young man. He was very active in my granddaughter's life. She loved her daddy, and her daddy loved her. He didn't miss a beat in her life. One state lawmaker says she's having a hard time processing the senselessness of it. That was someone planning and executed three people. So from years ago to listening to people say, you know, as a black people, we've come a long way. After what happened yesterday, I question that and say, have we really?